Hi, this is Henry Chamberlain, and welcome to the April edition of Board Briefings. Just returned to the American Society of Association Executives Great Ideas Conference, and I think you should invest in your staff, and I'll talk about that more so VAs can be there in bigger numbers. One theme that was there that I think we embraced pretty well, which is, are you going to be a disruptor, or are you going to be disrupted by the marketplace? And I think we, as BOMA, have done a great job seizing the moment, creating the value, getting the programs and services out there, having the legislative victories to establish BOMA first in the marketplace, doing that extremely well. A statistic that I found a little troubling was that 16% of members, when they were asked are they going to renew their dues for the coming year, said no. And a lot of those folks had corporate backing, so it wasn't even their money, it was their company's money. The reason was time and value. They weren't getting enough out of that membership. I think we deliver terrific value, something we have to always concentrate on and remind ourselves, extremely important. Two books that were there that I thought were great, and I like books as you know, but The Race for Relevance, Five Radical Changes for Associations, which is a new book by Harrison Carver and Mary Byers. Their theme, we need to help members be more successful. We do that extremely well. They focus on governance a little bit, nimble, flexible governance, incorporating committees and their work, take advantage of the time that's available so that we can change, we can take our business plans move left and right depending on what's changing and where the marketplace opportunities are. We do that really well. They talk about investing in the CEO, i.e. your BAE. And that I think is something we need to think about a little more and you do strategically going forward. I was at Great Ideas with Jeannie Bernard from Denver and Gabriel Eckert from Atlanta, but that's it. There were the three of us there. There should have been more. You need to invest in the HR training and support for memberships of your BAE so they can see what's going on out there with the great ideas, the best ideas, and bring them back. You need to be looking at the hours that they have available to work with you. What is the administrative support that they can supply? One of the things that the reports are really focusing on is members need to rely on the CEO for marketplace data, for trends, for the players that are out there. That requires time, and they're gonna need more of that going forward. As I'm out there doing board and leadership training, most boards are at least reinforcing what they've got. Some are pulling back, but I don't see boards saying we need to invest more in the BA function. I think it's something that you should be considering going into the future. The other one they talk about a lot is technology, creating that technology platform. Our members are working off of these devices. So we've got to be able to reach them where they are, but more importantly, can your members reach you where they are when they need an answer to something, a solution to a problem, need to reach somebody, can they get to your website, can they get to the material, can they find your members to problem solve? People aren't working at their desks anymore, they're running around the marketplace. So we've got to be able to leverage up on technology, we've got to be mindful of the time people have, we've got to be mindful of the fact they're asking, what's in it for me? What's the return on investment from everything that's going on? And we also have to be cognizant there's a lot of competition for people's time and resources, and we need, to, we need to deal with that as well. The other book, In Pursuit of Excellence by Matthew May, uh, really focuses on how can we have the maximum impact with a minimum amount of effort. And he talks about In-N-Out Burger, as people know on the West Coast, basic burger menu, fries, drinks, but you can customize that menu if you know to ask for 20 different things that aren't listed on the menu. Are there ways for us to create customer experiences with some of our basic offerings and allow people to do their individual things, network the way they want to, participate in the program the way they want to. They can create an elegant solution that he likes to talk about and bring people deeper into this organization. You need to engage people's imaginations. Maybe do a little bit less. And of course, Jim Collins wants you to take things off your menu as it is. Matthew talks about a wonderful phrase, word, Japanese word, shibumi which means effortless effectiveness. What a great concept for us to think about. If we could do a little less, be more effective and create a better experience, what a terrific thing that would be. It also reminds us to remember our friends and colleagues of BOMA Japan as they recover from their earthquake and tsunami and wish them the best. Thank you.